Hey there folks, this is Josh Stony Ridge Farmer and this is Edna the Chicken. And Edna is going to be <laughs> our test dummy for today. We're gonna have some fun today talking about chickens and teach you guys what you need to know to clip your chicken's wings to keep them from flying out of your poultry netting right here. So come along as we learn a little bit about chickens and I'll show you some cool, awesome contraptions that are on the chicken coop. You guys are gonna love this. <laughs> All right, folks, like I said, we really love our chickens on the farm. We put up this poultry netting right here, and this poultry netting will contain the chickens and allow them to get out here in free range in an area that's probably 10 or 15 times as big as their coop. We also, every year when we shut the garden down, we just open it up to the chickens and let them have at it. They eat up all the old tomato seeds and all the old trash, and they'll dig through here and find worms and all kinds of stuff. So I encourage you to free range your chickens. This is a cool way of doing it. I'll post links to the poultry netting that we use right here, and I'll post links to the automatic chicken coop door that opens opens when you say to open and closes when you say to close. In other words, you can set it for sun up to open up and sundown to go down after the birds have gone to bed. So this is Edna and Edna will fly. Edna will fly out of the chicken coop right here. She'll fly right over top of this poultry netting. When you clip your bird's wings, understand that you are reducing this animal's chances of survival if a predator gets after it. So what you wanna do is ensure these birds are up every night because they cannot run or fly away from a predator. And they can't fly very far, but they can fly eh, 30, 40 feet to get away from a predator. So we're gonna take Edna here and we're gonna turn her around. She's a very cooperative uh, partner. And these are Edna's flight feathers right here, okay? So the flight feathers are right through there. And all we have to do is take a pair of kitchen shears that I have right here and we eliminate those flight feathers. It's totally painless, just like that. Just leave them in the barnyard, just like so. That's one wing, totally clipped, okay? One of Edna's wings is good to go. She is no worse for the wear. Can you tell Edna? <laughs> oh, she's cute. Now, we'll show you the other wing, okay? All we gotta do, is again, stretch out her wings, and these are her flight feathers right here, okay? These long feathers. We wanna be careful not to hit the tip of her wing bone right here. So you can kind of feel, and if you have a chicken that's a little less cooperative, get a partner to do it. You hold the chicken and let the partner do the clipping. So we'll take this and we'll just stretch it out, just like so, no pain, no problems. Just like that. Okay, eliminate the flight feathers. Now. Once you eliminate flight feathers, you've got to think about something. If you've got a roost in your chicken coop right there, these birds aren't going to be able to fly up to a really high chicken roost. You are such a sweetheart, gosh. So understand that your chicken roost needs to probably be a little bit over knee high. So probably no higher than two and a half or three feet, okay? So that's how you clip chicken wings <laughs> to keep your birds inside this poultry netting. Again, I'll post a link to this. This is Premier One poultry netting, and I'll also post a link to the cool door that I'm getting ready to take you over and see. And Edna is good to go, watch. Be free. <laughs> no worse for the wear, Edna's awesome. So let's go over and show you how to automate your chicken coop. The contraptions that we have on this chicken coop, and we're gonna walk around the whole coop and give you guys some cool ideas. So this is called the Chicken Guard, and this has been on for about a year now. I just had to replace the batteries for the very first time. There's a button right here you hit for it to go up, a button right here you hit for it to go down, and then you can program. You put the time in and you set it. There's also a little photo eye right here that will pick up when it gets dark outside and it'll close the door automatically at night. And that's what it's all about. When you've got this poultry netting, you've got to keep your chickens safe. So I'll hit the button right here and you'll see the door go down. Uh, the door will go down. It takes about five seconds for it to go down and it runs on a little paracord right here. It has little latches at the bottom that hook in so that it will not be broken into by predators. You can push up on it all you want to, but if you don't use the string, it won't go up. We'll hit the button for it to raise. 
And again, I've had this up here. It may be two years old uh, that I've had this thing up here. I'll post a link to the installation video of this at the end of this video. This is our poultry netting right here, our electrified poultry netting. You need to make sure that you put electricity to this. We use a solar IntelliShock uh, 60 solar charger and that will pop the chicken if it tries to go through the net. You don't want to lose your chickens. This is all about being safe because once they get out, they can't get back in if you've clipped their wings. Now the best time to probably go in and clip their wings is getting a flashlight and going in after dark once the chickens have gone to roost. You can take each individual chicken, clip their wings, and then provide them with enough light to get back on the roost pole. Cool. Well guys, I hope you enjoyed this little video. I will tell you, I had some escape artists already. I locked myself in the chicken coop just now and I thought I was gonna have to call my neighbor to get me out. <laughs> it was pretty funny. So about six of the chickens are over there and I've got to get them rounded up. Edna is over here eating grass already. This is gonna be super cool to have the chickens out here in the garden area and pretty soon we're gonna be putting a greenhouse right here so the chickens can forage inside the greenhouse all winter. Guys, thanks a lot for joining me here on the Stony Ridge Farm. Please pound that like button if you'd like more content. There'll be links to everything chickens. At the end of this video, I've got probably mm, 60 videos out on how to raise chickens in your backyard. Pretty cool stuff. Everything from getting baby chicks to the perfect chicken coop to how to process them. Thanks a lot. We'll see you next time. Woo! Come on down to the Stony Ridge. Bring your wife and bring your kids. We're living life here in Sweden. That's the way. Yum. I'm gonna fall down. So, the chickens got out of the coop, and I can't make them not pace back and forth right here. So, there are like five chickens out on the other side of the uh, coop over there, and I can't get them up. <laughs> There's your blooper. Right, Edna? Edna's cool.